Part 9, Personality and Individual Differences Have you ever wondered why people behave differently in the same situation? Why is one person outgoing and sociable, while another is shy and reserved? Why does one person excel in math, while another is a natural at art? The answer to these questions lies in personality and individual differences. Personality refers to the unique set of characteristics, traits, and patterns of behavior that define an individual. Individual differences refer to the ways in which people differ from one another in terms of abilities, interests, and values. In this section, we will explore the fascinating world of personality and individual differences. We will learn about the different types of personality, how personality is measured, and how personality can impact our lives. We will also discuss the importance of individual differences and how they can be used to our advantage. What is personality? Personality is a complex concept that has been studied by psychologists for centuries. There are many different theories of personality, but most agree that personality is made up of a number of different traits. These traits can be thought of as stable patterns of behavior that are characteristic of an individual. One extroversion versus introversion. Extroversion is a personality trait characterized by a tendency to seek out social interactions and external stimulation. Extroverts are typically outgoing, assertive, and sociable, and they often enjoy being the center of attention. Introversion is a personality trait characterized by a preference for quiet and solitude, and a tendency to focus on one's own internal thoughts and feelings. Introverts are often quiet, reflective and reserved, and they may need time alone to recharge after social interactions. 2. Agreeableness versus Disagreeableness Agreeableness refers to the tendency to be cooperative, compassionate, and empathetic towards others. On the other hand, disagreeableness refers to the tendency to be critical, argumentative, and antagonistic towards others. 3. Conscientiousness versus Carelessness Conscientiousness refers to the tendency to be organized, responsible, and dependable. On the other hand, carelessness refers to the tendency to be disorganized, impulsive, and unreliable. 4. Neuroticism versus Emotional Stability Neuroticism refers to the tendency to experience negative emotions, such as anxiety, worry, and fear. Emotional stability, on the other hand, refers to the tendency to remain calm and composed even in stressful or challenging situations. 5. Openness to experience versus closed-mindedness. Openness to experience refers to the tendency to be open-minded, curious, and receptive to new ideas and experiences. Closed-mindedness, on the other hand, refers to the tendency to be rigid, narrow-minded, and resistant to change. These traits are not mutually exclusive, and most people have a mix of different traits. However, some people tend to score higher on certain traits than others. For example, an extrovert is someone who is typically outgoing, sociable, and enjoys being around people. An introvert, on the other hand, is typically more reserved, shy, and prefers to spend time alone. How is personality measured? There are a number of different ways to measure personality. One common method is to use self-report questionnaires. These questionnaires ask people to rate themselves on a variety of personality traits. Another common method is to use interviews. In an interview, a psychologist will ask a person questions about their personality and behavior. Finally, personality can also be measured through behavioral observation. In this method, a psychologist will observe a person's behavior in a variety of different settings. 
How does personality impact our lives? Personality has a significant impact on our lives. It affects the way we interact with others, the way we make decisions, and the way we cope with stress. For example, extroverts are more likely to have larger social networks than introverts. They are also more likely to be successful in careers that require social interaction, such as sales or marketing. In addition, personality can also affect our physical and mental health. For example, People who are high in neuroticism are more likely to experience anxiety and depression. They are also more likely to have chronic health problems. The importance of individual differences. Individual differences are the ways in which people differ from one another in terms of abilities, interests, and values. These differences are important because they allow us to bring unique perspectives and talents to the world. For example, People with different learning styles may learn best in different ways. Some people learn best by listening to lectures, while others learn best by reading or doing hands-on activities. By understanding individual differences, we can tailor our teaching methods to each student's unique needs. In addition, individual differences can also help us to build stronger relationships. When we understand the different ways that people think and feel, we can better communicate with them and appreciate their unique perspectives. Conclusion Personality and individual differences are complex and fascinating topics. By understanding these concepts, we can better understand ourselves and others. We can also use this knowledge to improve our relationships, make more informed decisions, and achieve our goals.